can succulents color up in the shade or do they only color up when exposed to the sun? Hello there, my name is Liz, a self-confessed succulent addict. Welcome to my channel, Growing Succulents. <gasps> oh my goodness, what happened to you, my little beautiful plant? Ah, what's your label? What did you do with your label? I had this sitting up here and yesterday it was just so windy. Do you see the cloudy days? Oh, it's beautiful and it's nice and cool. And at the moment, I think it's only like 15 degrees. I'm wearing my summer outfit and because I thought it's going to be forecast 30 degrees plus today, but then now that all change and tomorrow was supposed to be high 30s again but actually tomorrow is forecast again 34 so from today we're going to have well today we're going to have a top of 24 degrees celsius and tomorrow is going to be 34 oh my lord see the forecast it just jumps from 10 degrees amazing and these Romeos are doing fine. I still didn't get around to repotting them. And look at that. It's just so beautiful. Update on what's going on in my garden. Still, I've been, I've been busy. I've been busy. <laughs> if you notice, I've been busy uploading videos lately. And leaves me no time to attend to my garden. So I have been neglecting them. But look, the seeds of that one. Uh, Camano Puebla. Ah, oh, look at that beautiful plant. Okay, let's go have a look at that. See, beautiful plant, and that's the only one I've got. So, I'm trying to propagate it. Well, I'm trying to grow the seeds so I can propagate by seeds, and that's almost ready to be harvested. So, the last couple, two probably I'll take that off today. If it doesn't rain, well, I hope it well, 10% chance they said, so it's just going to be overcast all day. I've already taken some seeds from my Graptoveria lovely rose here and the baby, so this is the mummy one. The two other babies are also flowering at the moment and you can see I've taken some seeds from that. It's already safe, intact. And Districtive Flora, look at that, it's just so beautiful, but I haven't propagated anything from that so I've got two strict flora it's slow growing and small it's like tiny small 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 so that's probably about two and a half inches across that's all and look at my beautiful beautiful Echeveria Roma it looks like a Graptoveria Marguerite Rose but then now I'm finding they're actually different different plant the Roma is much prettier Romeo Rubin I've already harvested some seeds so I have been doing a lot of seed harvesting and this ebony as well I've got a couple more uh, seed pods here to harvest see look at that one see it's about to open that seed pod there oh okay it won't focus but anyway so this one here is about to split open like that one so when it splits open it's time to harvest it now, this one, I made a video of this one wherein I'm soaking, so remember the pot? I was soaking that. I bought that in winter, and I thought it's going to turn into some topsy-pinky, but I think it's, this is only, I don't, I'm not sure now whether this is um, blue clouds or something cloud anyway, but it's a rognoni eye, so that's all I can put it down to so it's a topsy-turvy maybe not but doesn't matter it's beautiful anyway and it's huge for the small pot that it's in look how big that one is and what else is happening in my garden the summer colors are coming out so during winter so these plants here when it's cold they actually look boring they're pale and when it warms up that's when the color shows up and my that's a taurus the taurus 
being exposed to the sun, just like the Romeo. Okay, I'll show you the Romeo here as well. This one, that was just boring during springtime. And it wasn't doing anything. And what's your name? Show me what's your name. <laughs> this is a Polydonis, I think. Yeah, that's a Polydonis. But even Polydonis, when during uh, summer and autumn, that's when the color shows up. So, and all the pretty ones during winter and spring <laughs> are now sort of winding down. So I got this one with no name. And this one, so I still don't know, it was labeled Longissima, which is not a Longissima, of course. And this one is already a baby. The mummy is over there in the 50 zone area or shade cloth, so it's getting sort of protection from the sun. It's not getting too much sun. Well, only 50% uh, UV sun. This one, even though it's in this area, should be coloring up nicely, but instead, because it's exposed to the sun, doesn't like the sun at all. So it's boring. The color is a bit dull. So normally half of that plant is all red. So there are plants that when it gets too hot, they shy off and goes really pale. And Romeo, I've noticed, is one of them. So I'll take you to my other Romeos now. And look at the pretty, pretty, pretty fat. Oh, Awotheus, Andromiscus, and Andromiscus. And look how big that one. I have to remove that. It's growing fur. And look, my Venusta. And the mirror ball looked so pretty. I have to get another mirror ball. I think I do have another one, but anyway. Oh, that one's having, having babies. My Cooper is having babies. Echeveria goes 61. You have a beautiful form. I love the shape. And this is just a common plant. I only have a few that I've propagated uh, this year. Well, I propagated them last year and then now they're grown. And so I'm really curious to see how they're going to look if I torture them. <laughs> so this one is still not like in full, full sun. So I'm going to put it somewhere where it can get morning sun, midday sun, and afternoon sun. So right now uh, it gets midday sun. And in the afternoon it gets partially covered by my crested Fredissima nom inval here and also the Fredissima nom inval normally during summertime like the second month of summer this just goes all red and also and all through autumn and winter and then springtime it goes boring and the color dulls up but anyway this side here is more green because that gets shaded and on the other side here is still green <laughs> As you can see, even though that's exposed to the sun. So the color is affected by the temperature and the weather. But there are succulents that would color up in summer. And there's also succulents that would color up when it's cold or the temperature goes down. This is for temperate zone, but in tropical tropical areas my theory is that during the cold season or your wet is your cold season so places like in the tropics even here in Queensland here in Australia we have areas where in uh, it doesn't get really cold they don't get snow or frost so that's Queensland Western Australia some parts of Western Australia same thing gets really really hot as well but my theory is that there are plants that or succulents that they will change color in accordance to maybe the season you can call it the season but i believe it's the temperature it's the temperature that um, changes the color so now the beni Muso uh, musumi this one in autumn is just beautiful vivid red almost like the Romeo Rubin over there so you can see the color difference see see the color difference from one end of the spectrum to the other <laughs> so a colorata also colors up beautifully in summer 
but right now it's still pale because it doesn't know whether it's coming or going. We get hot days, we get cold days. Hang on, I'll show you my little profile plant. This is Echeveria agavoides, Romeo Ruben Cross Ebony. And it hasn't flowered, so I can't even get some seeds from it. And also, I'm just hiding it there, just where it's nicely tucked in, safe. It's still exposed, so it gets wet and rained on, but it's still sort of protected. It doesn't really get like direct bombarded with sunlight. So it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Look at that. So, okay, oh, it's just so gorgeous. It looks so gorgeous. Okay, the form, it's got form and it's got color, just the right amount of tone. There you go. It's like the Goldilocks plant. It is not too hot, not too cold, not too pretty, not too ugly. Now let's compare this plant with the mother plant. So that's the mother plant on the left, and this is the baby plant that's exposed to the sun. The mother plant receives morning sun, while the baby plant receives midday and afternoon sun. This is my $15 <laughs> lipstick. I just repotted it. But anyway, I need to get to the back there where the Romeo is. Okay, so this Romeo was pink before, but I put it right in the back, but I removed the pot above, so there's no pot uh, covering, protecting it. So that's where it is. Now, okay, I'll take it out so we can make a comparison. And she looks pale where she was pink before. Now, I have a Romeo as well over there. Look at that. Can I get to you? Hang on. So. Anyway, I'll move it, uh, show you first. So this Romeo, look, there's all pots. Even though it's out here, when it rains, it gets wet. But it hardly gets any sunlight or direct sun. But in the afternoon, when the sun comes from the southwest here, it hits it. And over here and through, through the gaps, it still gets a certain amount of sunlight or direct sun, it's hitting the leaves and that sort of thing. So that's why it's got sort of patchy colors. But anyway, I'll just take it out and move this pot away. There you go. So this is the difference of the two Romeos. One Romeo that's in the shade has already etiolated because there's not enough sunlight, but the color is much, much, much prettier. Ah, oh, look at that, delicious. You can see that the plant See, if I do that, they're all going like, boom, like that. Now, this Romeo, on the other hand, because it's trying to get away from the sun, is going, woo, close off. <laughs> but I already collected some seeds from this one, and no rain, 10% of chance of rain, so I can remove this ones now. The ah, flower stalk, you just shake it from side to side. <clears throat> okay. There you go. So this is a good example of the difference of color when it comes to where you put your plants. So certain plants, when it's warm, they will color up. When it's cold, they go dull and vice versa. So that's a good example with the Romeo. So, but the Romeos during, at the end of summer and autumn, so I normally pull them out and put them all on the edges where they get um, sun and that's when they start coloring up into this and then the ones that I put in the back start going this color. Romeo doesn't like to be exposed to the sun during summer when you're getting high 20s, high 30s degrees Celsius and in autumn when the weather cools down or during the wet season when it's cool uh, in tropical areas, that's when they show their nice color. But you still have to expose them to the sun uh, when that happens, so that way they can color up. So this one is now, I can see some hints of blushing as well now, because it's thinking that it's probably going to get cold again. So it was paler yesterday even. And now today I can see sort of splashes of, look at that where it's blushing when it gets cold. 
that rain, I'm telling you. I have to change my soil as well because the soil that I'm using, the master succulent soil mix from all of this, they're all surviving nicely in here anyway, so it's not, shouldn't be a problem. But the new plants that I've got in pots with plastic pots, those are the ones who, who's not uh, able to survive our current, our current um, temperature or weather. So the rest of the gang here are doing nicely. They really need to be transplanted. So this is my Echeveria Potosina Crystal Irea. Okay, that's a long name, but that's what it's called. So anyway, it's just beautiful. The colors, it's like blotchy yellow and green. It's just beautiful, beautiful plant. And it's sort of cluster up. So it has its application. I can put that in something. Uh, if I were to paint with succulent, so you need that color as well. It's not just all pink and red and purple. You also need the greens and the yellows. Oh, Frank Hybrid. I call this summer pink because... <laughs> <laughs> already taken some cutting so it's just sitting there and hopefully I just have to inspect yep that one's got a mealybug in there so I have to treat that but oh look new roots I've got some new roots over here forming so that's about ready to be put in its own pot but before I have to treat that mealybug see there you go there's a mealybug there as well anyway oh little spider hello hiding there okay